Hi, I'm Ryan Jordan with Backpack in Light on the bank of the South Fork of the Flathead River in the Bob Marshall Wilderness. And I'm here to tell you about a really neat concept in backcountry fly fishing called Tinkara. Tinkara is as much a style of fishing as the name of a particular piece of fishing gear, and that would be the fly rod. A Tinkara fly rod is collapsible into itself. There's several pieces here that pull out like a telescope and uh, this saves you the weight of a rod case when you're fishing. Now if you notice there's no place for a reel on a Tinkara rod and that's the point. With a Tinkara rod you attach a fly line to the end of the rod. The fly line is about ten and a half feet in length. Then you tie on a tippet of three to six feet and that's the entire setup right there. So there's no fly reel, no fly rod case, and it has the ability to dramatically reduce the weight of your fishing kit in the backcountry. My entire kit for this trip is in this Simplicity Unslap pack, and my Tinkara rod, the whole thing weighs six ounces. Okay, so here you can see the entirety of my fly fishing kit that I brought with me to the South Fork. It's less than six ounces. And it includes, of course, the Tinkara rod, a new model called the IU. It's 13 feet long, and uh, I'm testing it for big river fishing, like the South Fork Flathead, which is where we're at today. And so far, it's performed more than admirably, and I've had uh, good meals the last three nights. I've got my fly box, a small foam fly box. It's packed with uh, about four dozen flies, um, assorted uh, large dries and attractors, and some mayflies, caddis, a few dropper, beadhead nymphs, and um, you know, just a variety of patterns that are uh, focusing on trying to hit the hatches that are on the South Fork right now. I've got one spool of tippet with me, 5X tippet. I've got my Tinkara line, which I keep coiled around a tippet spool, and as you can see, my flies are attached and they stay there until I add my line to my rod. And I'm using uh, today a dry fly, a golden stone fly imitation, and a little bead head dropper nymph. I have a strike indicator for nymphing and a micro drop bottle that contains my split shot. I can hold about 16 split shot in that one milliliter micro drop bottle. I use hydrophobe which comes in a small uh, two and a half mil squeeze bottle. Which makes, very, makes it very light, but it's pretty hard to find. It's a French product. And of course my fishing license, which I keep in a uh, micro zip bag with the rest of my small gear. My hydrophobe, my strike indicator, my split shot, they all go in this case. And then the whole thing goes into a Simplicity Unslack pack, which I have modified a little bit by cutting off uh, some of the extraneous parts and pieces, and then just adding back a neck lanyard made out of uh, air cord line. And that modified as such, that Unslack pack weighs a seven tenths of an ounce. And there I have a really light backcountry fishing kit based on the Tinkara rod. So for me, it's a great way to save weight on food. I've had uh, fish dinners every night for the last three nights. We're heading up into the mountains now, so I'm gonna be eating real backpacking food and then uh, hopefully drop into the headwaters of the South Fork Sun River and get some more fish in that drainage. Tinkara is marketed for small stream fishing and I think that is a limitation that's probably unnecessary. The South Fork Flathead River is a really big wilderness river, and I've had no issues at all catching fish. Um, obviously, I can't cast across the river, but most fly fishermen aren't going to do that anyways. They're gonna fish up tight in the banks, and the Tinkara rod has performed admirably, admirably in all situations I've found it in. Um, I have nymph fish with it. I've thrown big, heavy stonefly nymphs, and I have dry fly fish, dry fly fish with a dropper, and it's just, it's as versatile as anything else. The challenge is in landing fish, so you gotta be pretty careful not to 
uh, bring the tip of the rod in too tight a radius or it could break. Uh, but bringing a fish onto the shore and landing it um, negates the need to carry a net and it's just a matter of good technique like anything else uh, in the lightweight world. It is um, pretty out of control uh, when it comes to the amount of money that you can spend on a fly fishing kit. Uh, the high-end rods and reels will cost you, you know, a thousand bucks combined, and then you've got waders and vests and handmade wooden nets, and then all these little gadgets that are um, uh, just incredible amount of expense can be uh, laid out for a fly fishing kit. And we've seen some folks on this trip uh, that have been horse packed in and rafting out, and you know they're decked out with um, everything you can imagine from the Orvis catalog. But the ultralight backpacker has to take a different approach, and so they have to be pretty spartan about uh, what they choose to take in there. I mean, we're not, we're not going to take waders and, and vests and nets into the backcountry. We're going to try to improvise the best we can with good technique. And one of the things about the Tinkara philosophy and rod is that it allows you to dramatically reduce the weight and cost of your kit that you're taking out here. So, you know, with a three and a th three or three and a half ounce fly rod, no reel, none of the other junk that um, you think you need to go fly fishing out here, and then some flies and a little bit of tackle and you're set. So I'm out here with five or six ounces of gear and I'm fishing a big river like the South Fork Flathead and I have no limitation. Now I've been catching 12 to 16 inch cutthroat um, all day long and have been well fed and, and uh, it's been great. And, the neat thing about Tinkara is that it is just a little bit simpler, requires a little more refined technique, and it's absolutely compatible with the ultralight philosophy. So it's a pretty exciting development in the world of fly fishing. I shoulder my backpack, walk away from the car, step on the dirt path on a journey not too far It's the same in all seasons I can only pray to walk as much of the trails till my dying day Look for me in the mountains where walking has a way of pulling you to your peace of mind So, Tinkara Rods, check them out. www.tinkarausa.com. I'm Ryan Jordan with Backpacking Light on the South Fork Flathead River in the Bob Marshall Mountains. You can't buy this kind of beauty, it's a gift every day. The bright out and glow mornings take my breath away. Look for me.